A gun violence emergency declaration from the mayor's office could not stop nearly 90 shots fired indiscriminately in Portland's Old Town. And that shootout was actually captured on camera in organizations in the neighborhood say the city needs a greater sense of urgency. Brandon Thompson, live outside of Old Town tonight. Brandon, you found businesses simply are just fed up with all this gun violence. Mayor Ted Wheeler declared a gun violence emergency on July 22nd. This is the latest of several shootings just in Old Town since that day. The businesses tell me that that Old Town reset plan from earlier this summer, the mayor's office and Portland police were a part of that. They say it's helped clean off tents off the street, but the guns and gun violence remain. Active shots being fired. 88 bullets flying through Old Town. Two guys, two guys, both those guys, the guy by the car and the guy across the street. Have you seen this video before? No, okay. no, no. Because I'm tired. To I'm tired to look up. Chef Najee has owned Caspa Moroccan Cafe for six years. He says the last two have been the most violent, and it's hurting his business. The reputation of Old Town is bad for the local. Uh, you know. We don't know what we can do is the reputation of this area. Friday's shootout was the latest of several shootings since Mayor Ted Wheeler declared a gun violence emergency in Portland. It needs to be more urgency in our response. Kerman leads the Blanche House, a nonprofit helping people without a home. He says these shootings put the most vulnerable even more at risk. They're living and sleeping. This happened in the wee hours of the morning. Um, how startling and how scary that must be for the, for the people who are both unhoused and housed who live down here in Old Town. The mayor's staff says Wheeler is out of town, but in a statement, his spokesperson said in part, quote, Friday's shooting further highlights the need for an emergency response to gun violence. Safe for summer, PDX is focused on making meaningful connections with this high-risk population to stop violence like this from happening. Meanwhile, Kerman has to take his own action. The Blanche House has increased mental health support in part because methamphetamines, he says, has more severe effects on people who use it, people in an area struggling to make progress. Well, I mean, it does sometimes feel like one step forward, two steps back, and I think this is what we're just going to have to deal with, and so we just, we're just going to keep persevering as a district. Two people were arrested from this shootout, though Portland police is asking for more information for other potential suspects. One of the people who was arrested, his name is Tamar J. Polk. He was also on pretrial release from a Multnomah County case for felony possession of a firearm. Reporting live in Old Town, Brandon Thompson, Coin 6 News. Brandon, thank you. Cold case investigations 